Well, hello there. Thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda. In case you didn't know, I'm Linda. Hi! Today we'll be trying a not really but kind of sort of new tea to us. Um, today we will be having an Assam tea from Simpson and Vale. Now if you've been around the channel for a little bit, you know that Assam is one of my favorite teas that I just, I, anything with an Assam, Assam by itself, I just, I love Assam teas. Um, we've had a, a couple of teas from Simpson and Vale before, I believe. Um, so I'm really excited to try this one. Um, this is their four ounce 10. I did purchase this and it was like $10. Um, so it's not horribly expensive. Um, according to their website, it says in the Northeastern state of Assam in India, along the, I'm really gonna say this wrong, Brahmapura River grow the hardy malty Assam teas. The heavy rainfall and hot human day temperatures in this area create the perfect greenhouse-like environment for growth as well as helping to create a unique taste found only in Assam teas. That's why I love them so much. Their distinct flavor can be enjoyed as is. However, Assam teas are often used in conjunction with other teas to create numerous blends, specifically breakfast teas. These twisted slight pardon me, these twisted, slightly tippy Assam black leaves from northern India are zestful and invigorating. They produce a deep copper-colored cup with a malty, mellow, and full-bodied taste. Assam is truly the Bordeaux of tea. So we brew this tea at 212 um, and we steep for three minutes. Uh, it also says that Assam teas complement foods such as chocolate, yum, spice dessert, OMG, meat, strong cheeses, ooh, that would be interesting, uh, fish and more. I'm intrigued by that, a strong cheese and a cup of Assam. Ooh, I might have to try that. <laughs> okay, so we've gotten our water up to boil. So let's pull this over and we will crack into this case as we have not opened it nor had it and it's it might be linda proofed new gold dream 81 82 okay Ooh. Okay, and so this tin is absolutely full. So it doesn't have much of a smell to it. I mean, it has that tea smell, but it it doesn't smell enough, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see. One teaspoon per six Oz. As I spill it everywhere. So we just went a little bit above one teaspoon. That's okay. That's all right. We'll just sweep that away. Uh, oh, and let me get the measurement markings here. All right. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Three minutes starting now. All right, I'll push this over here so that you can kind of see it brewing. Um, if this is your first time at the channel, hey, thanks for stopping. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you've come back to see me, hey there, I've missed you. Yes, I know I've been delinquent and getting some videos up. Please forgive me. Um, Allow me to introduce myself if you are new. Uh, my name is Linda Arnold. I am a mostly self-taught potter. Uh, and right now we are filming in the Whimsy Kettle Studios. Pay no attention to that shirt. <laughs> I, 
I have a craft thing going on right now. So hello and allow me to introduce myself. My name is Linda Arnold. I'm a mostly self-taught potter who has a pretty significant hot tea addiction. I am on a quest as a potter to either find, make, or buy um, the perfect teapot or well, Ooh, hey Siri, stop timer. This has just gone all off the tracks. <laughs> all right, so our, our three minutes has elapsed. Um, I'll give this a little stir. These are cut pieces. They're not huge, but they're not small either. I mean, it's, it's decent looking. Um, let's dispense. Oh, I forgot to dispense yours. I am so sorry. Here is your cup. I've been trying different things to see if y'all can see the, the color better. So let me know if, if this little, um, let me know if this works better for you. All right. Okay, now you can smell that wonderful asomnus. Is that a word? Well, it is now. Um, it's, it's tea, but it's got that, that, that bold smell that Assam does. I, I just, I don't know how to explain it. It's, well, that and I'm, I can't think of all the words I need right now. So if I stumble, forgive me. Um, okay. This tea has an amazing color to it. It is, boys and girls, the yum yum color. <laughs> it is clear. There is no particulate. It smells amazing. It absolutely smells amazing. Mm. Mm. That is a good cup of tea. Oh my stars. This is mm, yum yum. It has that rich bold taste that you, you get used to with the Psalms. Um, it's, it's malty, but it's not bitter. Um, it doesn't really have an astringent taste to it or anything like that. It's, it's a good cup of tea. You know, it, it really is. Um, I can enjoy that naked, but if you know me, you know, I'm going to make it the Linda way, the Linda way, the Linda way. Oh my gosh. She needs to shut up about the Linda way. All right. So it appears that I ran out of sugar cubes and I just shoved a spoon in there, which this is, you know, one of those that you rest on your cup. Um, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to switch. Yeah, that should be more than enough. I'll just shove this back in there for now because I need this spoon to stir with. So let me stir my, my sucre. Is there anything coming up in your life that you're really excited about? I mean, I know it's September, so, you know, we have a while to Thanksgiving and Christmas. You know, but do you have a birthday coming up or a family trip or a school play for your kids or something? Um, let me know what's coming up that you're excited about. All right, we'll add a little bit of half and half. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, I don't know why I put the sugar back over here. I'm just lost without Spencer. Okay, so now we've made it the Linda way. That was a little too much sugar to add to it, but you know what? That's all right. It's, that is, oh my God, that's an amazing cup of tea. Um, like I said, a little bit too much sugar, so the, the sweetness kind of overwhelms it, but you get that maltiness on the backside um, and the, the briskness of it. Um, this is, oh my God, this is a good cup of tea. 
Yeah. yeah. So, before I drink this entire cup, very good Assam tea from Simpson and Vale. Um, they have a lot of uh, amazing teas on their sites, oh, tons of teas on their sites, as well as they have some pretty interesting tea wear as well. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen me finish a cup of tea on the, the show before. So there you go. All right. Well, um, I'll stop blathering on because I'm sure you have other things to do if you've even made it this far. Um, thanks for coming by and having a couple with me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I can't wait to see you the next time. Bye. Hey there, do you enjoy our content? I really hope so. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button and, you know, think about subscribing. That would really help me out. Thanks. Bye.